LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers cruised to victory in Game 1 of the NBA Finals last night. However, even with a double-digit lead late in the game, LeBron didn't back off, picking at his teammates for every mistake they made. G'day NBA fans, welcome back guys. First up on Basketball Action, LeBron James explains why he refused to let up in Game 1. Let's go! The Lakers were up 19 points late in the fourth quarter. Kendrick Nunn set a screen for Tyler Hero, from which he managed to get free, no thanks to Rajon Rondo, who didn't switch onto Hero following the screen, resulting in a bucket for the Heat. Following the play, LeBron James could be heard yelling at Rondo saying, what are you doing, that's a switch. The Lakers were up 17 points, and LeBron was still holding his teammates accountable for their mistakes. James explained the reason for his mindset revealing. I've experienced moments in my career, finals games where you had all the momentum in the world, thought you had the game under control, and one play here and there can change the course of the series and the game. James then elaborated on one particular situation where this scenario took place. One that rings home for me is Game 2 of the 2011 Miami Heat Finals vs Dallas Mavericks. D Wade hits a 3 right by their bench. I believe that put us up by either 13 or 17. From that moment on, Dallas went on a hell of a run and finished it off with a Dirk Nowitzki left hand layup to steal that game. LeBron added how that made him feel, saying, that shit burns me to this day. James signed off by saying, the best teacher in life is experience, and I've experienced a lot, so that's what prompted me to be who I was today. Guys, I can understand his mentality. He's remaining focused and doesn't want to leave anything to chance. It's what life's taught him. One, two, three, get out of Anthony Davis revealed he believes that some players like the bubble because you don't have the pressure from opposing fans or even home fans. Fans boo you. If you're not playing well, especially if you're on the road, it can get to you. For the record guys, to put things into perspective, LeBron was quoted saying, playing in the bubble is the most challenging thing I've ever done. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, Tyron Liu had his interview with the Sixers on Tuesday and had a tour of the team's practice facility in Camden. Mike D'Antoni is the candidate who Sixers GM Elton Brand is pushing hard for and he's reportedly received Joel Embiid's blessing. The 76ers have booked Doc Rivers to swing by the franchise for a visit this week. A coaching decision was expected before the end of the week, however, could now be delayed. Goran Dragic's status for the remainder of the NBA Finals is in doubt after he tore his plantar fascia in Game 1. At this stage, the Heat haven't ruled him out. Bam Adebayo is planning to play Game 2 of the NBA Finals on Friday night despite his shoulder injury after his shoulder x-ray returned negative. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver revealed the next NBA season will most likely start in January 2021. Shaquille O'Neal and Dwayne Wade take NBA Finals to crazy heights with an insane bet. They're so silly, check it out. Some funny tweets I found guys. Miami packed up shop and gone home. And this one, Lakers having a good laugh at Miami. Is LeBron too harsh on his teammates? Let us know in the comments guys. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, smash the like, and check out the other videos on Basketball Action. High five everyone and thanks for watching.